Up to 2,000 more hospital beds will be needed in Auckland and Northland in the next 20 years, just to keep up with population growth. That's the stark warning from the region's four district health boards in their new long-term investment plan, which was unveiled today. Now, alongside upgrades to existing hospitals, they also want two new hospitals built in Auckland, one in the south and one in the north. Details were released at North Shore Hospital today, and Sarah Robson was there. Over the next 20 years, the population of Auckland and Northland is expected to grow from 1.8 million to 2.3 million people. DHB bosses say that's going to put more pressure on the region's health services. But their long-term investment plan paints a bleak picture of the current state of their facilities. Almost a fifth of the region's hospital facilities are in poor or very poor condition, including critical infrastructure such as water and power supplies. And about 20% of the DHB's clinical services are in facilities that aren't fit for purpose. Is that something that worries the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and the Health Minister David Clark? Yes. What are you going to do about it? Well, it, it, indeed, that's what our infrastructure program is about addressing. Mm. It, again, can't fix it all in one budget or you can't fix it overnight. It's been a problem that's amassed over quite some time. I, uh, of course, seek assurances that clinical outcomes are still supported, that we're in facilities that can deliver quality health care, but there's no doubt a significant amount of investment is needed over time. David Clark says about $14 billion is needed over the next 10 years to deal with infrastructure issues in the health system. To kick that off, the government set aside $750 million in this year's budget for building upgrades and other capital projects. It's already promised $275 million to Auckland DHB for work at Auckland City Hospital and at its Green Lane Clinic. Today it announced $200 million for a new elective surgery unit at North Shore Hospital. The chief executive of Waitemata DHB, Dale Bramley, says it's a good start. This is the largest increase in capacity that we've had in many years. We uh, expect at least 120 new beds to be built as well as four theatres with a shelter for another four theatres. So it's adding much needed immediate capacity but will also be future proof so we will be able to expand the centre too. But the DHBs want other new facilities too. Their long-term investment plan includes building a new 400-bed hospital south of the city within the next 20 years. They've also mooted another new hospital further down the track north of the city. Dale Bramley says it's not a matter of prioritising building new facilities over infrastructure upgrades. We have to keep maintaining the hospitals that we have because that's our greatest asset right now. But with this massive population growth, uh, we're going from 1.8 million people to 2.5 million people. 700,000 people need hospital services, primary care, community services. So we have to do both and we have to do both in parallel. Jacinda Ardern agrees. We've got to keep the lights on and the water flowing though, so it's always about, um, uh, about doing both. David Clark has signalled he's likely to make an announcement in the next few weeks about more money for upgrades at County's Monaco DHB. That DHB has been in the spotlight this year over problems with buildings and infrastructure at Middlemore Hospital. Mōtehotaka o te ahi ahi, ko Sarah Robson, aho.